calves. Once again, we can see we've gotten rid of all the paws, or at least the outstanding ones. And uh, finally, the feet before and after. We've just smoothed out those blemishes and made, made it a little more even all over. Command zero to fit to window. Now, as I explained in the last tutorial, the one side effect of smoothing skin is that generally you tend to lose a lot of the grain. And when you do that, it tends to have a slightly artificial look. For example, if I zoom in on the chest area, we can see that this skin is super smooth before and after. Now, it's a vast improvement. However, it looks a little artificial, a little plastic, because it doesn't have any natural grain to it. So we have to replace that grain. And the best way to do that is to add a little bit of noise to it. So the first thing we need to do is create a new layer. So we'll hold down Command Shift N and it'll bring up our layer options box. So I'm going to rename this noise. And under mode, we'll take it down to overlay and that'll give us this option to fill this layer with a 50% gray. So I'll tick that box and click OK. Now, here's our new layer called Noise, and it's just a, a layer filled with grey. If I option click on the eye icon, we can see that that's all it is, just some grey. And this is a, no, a good non-destructive way of applying noise, because we're not going to do it to any of our crucial layers here. We're just going to apply it to our new layer. So now we go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. We just have Uniform ticked. And under amount, we can play with the, diff with the amounts until we, we get the kind of grain that we're looking for. So if I slide it up to maybe 11, you can see that that is an outrageous amount of noise and we don't need that. So if I bring it down to say five, even that's too much, way too much. And we're going to be subtle about this. So let's just take it down to maybe three. And that's pretty good. So we don't want to go too far. And so we'll click OK. So now that looks good. We've added a little bit of noise, a little bit of grain to the entire image, but we don't want it applied to the entire image. We just want it applied to those areas which we've smoothed. And so because we've done all our smoothing on this separate skin smooth layer, the really easy fix is to command click on our skin smooth layer, and that will make a selection just of those areas that we've smoothed.